Hello Taurus, hope that you're doing well. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. I went ahead and pre-shuffled. As a reminder, I will be pre-shuffling before all of my uploads. Let's dive on into your reading. Uh, the overarching theme for your reading is the Eight of Wands. So a lot of communication is coming in or going out. You could be sending a lot of text messages, emails at this time or receiving a, um, a lot of uh, incoming uh, communication online or in person at this time it could involve someone with fire in their chart it could be Aries Sagittarius Leo it does not have to be take what resonates well, let's get started you have a Queen of Pentacles showing up major court card as well as the six and the nine of Pentacles so Taurus the thing with your reading is you're showing up heavily your energy is coming through very strongly at this time and I really like that the Queen of Pentacles is here um, the Pentacles represent Earth so this could be your energy Taurus or also could be a Capricorn or a Virgo uh, the thing with the Queen is that she represents someone who is able to nurture others someone who is very supportive has a healing quality about them um, very grounded and in tune with their emotions, um, someone who's steady. So this absolutely could represent you, Taurus. At this time, you are showing up here as a, a person who has a lot of authority when it comes to um, your work. I see that you're a very giving person, uh, but you're also equally open to receiving. And the reason I say that is because the Six of Pentacles is here. This is a sign that um, there's an equal give and take within your relationships. Now I see this more as work focused um, because like I said um, I read Pentacles as earth energy grounding energy but usually I can I can read it as it's it's more related to work. Um, the scales are showing up but also the judgment card has shown up here which is the sign of Libra. You could in fact be communicating heavily with a Libra at this time. Does not have to be but I am just seeing the similarities here. Um, you also have the Nine of Pentacles in your reading paired with the Queen and then the Six of Pentacles. The thing with um, the Nine of Pentacles is I like to see this as you are calm, collected, and also very dependable in your position currently. Um, this person allows, you know, the good, uh, the luxury, luxury of life to come to them because they are able to um, put in the time and effort to receive those things or to buy them for themselves. So at this time you could be um, indulging a little bit and, um, you know, good self-care or possibly taking a trip somewhere. Um, the thing with your read so far is I, I do see movement um, as the overarching theme. So you could be traveling soon or someone could be traveling actually to you, Taurus, and that person could possibly be uh, one of three signs, um, but they also could have Earth in their chart. So I mentioned that Libra is showing up strong here. Um, also the Strength card, which represents Leo, and then you have the Star card, which represents Aquarius. So could be um, someone with a combination or one of these uh, elements in their chart. But each individual card represents something different. So I'm seeing it kind of diametrically opposing that there needs to be some sort of a conclusion here um, between you and someone at this time. Um, the judgment card kind of does represent a conclusion or a decision that is being made or you would like to be made. Now, like I said, overarching theme here um, is communication and the thing with the star card showing up, like I said, represents Aquarius, does not have to be, take what resonates is that this card um, represents your innermost desires and your dreams. So you could seek a, I guess, a judgment call with someone who um, maybe they aren't communicating with you, Taurus. Maybe you want that communication. Um, you want that strength. You want that uh, that passion. You want the the connection there. But you you seem to be very well balanced at this time emotionally. I'm not seeing anything negative showing up here, but I want to clarify your energy with this person at this time. It's a little confusing. Now, just as I said, I don't see anything negative. What's interesting is I'm seeing here that you could have actually had a lot of hurt with this person. Now, the, fir the first swords um, card is showing up. Now, this is the backstab and betrayal card. So with this card, keep in mind that you are very emotional regarding um, 
important decisions. And I think that you already know that, Taurus. And I think that you know that you're fragile at this time. Um, not emotionally, but more making... I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling picking up the air energy here. Um, I think it revolves around, most likely, the, the commitment with this person. So you actually could be dealing with um, someone with Aquarius or Libra at this time. And the Hierophant card is... A sign of um, Taurus and Aries so you are very much considering this decision um, because of because of the need to commit at this time so maybe you aren't clear on where you stand um, with someone it is the card of traditions conventional uh, relationships conformity and expectations so excuse me that could be something that you are seeking at this time um, with the judgment card kind of clarifying that and I think that you do know that this is important and that in the past you could have felt betrayed by someone due to a lack of commitment. Um, I think that you are growing in your strength uh, but you are doing a lot of inner work or you could be dealing with someone with Virgo in their chart at this time. So Taurus, I'm thinking that for the overarching theme is maybe you are reflecting on your past um, decisions uh, regarding commitment at this time. You're feeling very strong, however, um, with your ability to, I guess, in intuitively make your decisions regarding your innermost desires and dreams. I don't see that you're doubting it. You're showing up very strongly with the Queen of Pentacles and then also the Hierophant showing up. Um, the person who has the air in their chart possibly could be quite um, I don't want to say unstable, but I want to say unclear. I want to say that you are the one who's reaching out and you're the one who's trying to clarify um, the situation with them. And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe a lack of um, response is something that you're afraid of. I don't think that you're stressed out about it, but I just, I get the feeling that it's something that you know is important. And if you don't receive um, the answer that you are you are seeking that you would you would move on um i i just i don't see it as like a, a make it or break it here the tarot card is not showing up um but i do think that you want to come to some sort of a conclusion um regarding commitment at this time and that's just how i'm seeing it so take what resonates and again i will return to probably a quarterly schedule in march uh regarding uploads so thank you all so much for liking subscribing sharing and um, yeah, viewing my channel. I really, really miss Tarot, and I hope to see you soon.